I, I I do feel like he he was reaching out for help. He he. I don't know if it was like the help that anybody could understand. But yeah, he's guilty. I I don't. Oh, how can I answer that? I think he's guilty in my heart. I think he's guilty in my heart. Wait, not guilty and guilty. Not guilty. No, no, no. Yeah, I think he's guilty in my heart only because um, of what he went through. Like, in a situation like that, no child, does, you know, no child at the age of 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, even below, should be having an ex experience of going through something with somebody that they're able to trust, which is a therapist. This therapist allegedly groomed on Prada like oh it's not guilty not guilty not guilty um and I just don't I don't think that when like honestly this is how I feel I just feel like if he's going to a therapist he's trying to talk to somebody he's trying to get help from somebody and things like that he can't get it from he can't get it from his own therapist at the age of 11. Who else could this man talk to? Do you get what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't know. And then coming to find out this man was a priest. This man was a priest. So just imagine who else he could have did it to. You get what I'm saying? He's not 11. No. Okay. So um, at the age of 11, this man was his therapist. Prada was, you know, going to him for therapy sessions and things like that. So at the age of 11, that was his therapist. A case had opened up to the point where as though um, it was alleged that the therapist was touching on Prada at the age of 11. So police got involved, things like that sort. So when that happened, the, the therapist ended up going to jail but got bailed out by 25K. So he got out of jail because he had that 25K. So when that happened, I don't know. And I, I'm pretty sure nothing transpired afterwards because this man is still out of jail. He's living life, doing what the fuck he need to do. So um, it don't seem like any consequences was made until two days ago, which was, you know, the alternative that Prada had for him. Like he he felt like it was just like, OK, let me just figure out what I can do and he took the you know the the violent route um now do I feel like and this is just me this is just me I don't feel like it was a let me just go there and hurt this man type thing I think that it was a fight that led to an accident that's just me from the sounds of it and the way that the cops like explained it it don't it don't sound like it was like a let me go there and it just sounded like it was like, let me go there, beat him up, see how it goes. But I beat him up and it, it, it don't seem like he woke up or something like I don't think that it was just like a. You get what I'm saying? I don't think that. Yeah, I already seen a video of the crash. y'all. Oh, my God, you still going? I just woke up. So let me kick you out since I'm still going. Have a have a good life. As a matter of fact. Everybody else talking about the shit. Everybody, once I started saying something, everybody else want to talk about it. And they got asking me why the fuck I'm still going. Bitch, shut the fuck up. I feel bad for him. I do feel bad for him. I won't lie. Only because, like, it's like, damn. Your therapist is supposed to be somebody that you trust. Like, your therapist is supposed to be somebody that you're comfortable speaking with. So the fact that your therapist... Is doing weird stuff with you behind closed doors. It's like, damn, who the fuck can I talk to? Bro, literally everyone is recycling. What'd that say? Bro, no, literally everyone is recycling everything said everything you said, like they did their research. I'm weak. But um I do I do just feel like this. I do feel like if if I was proud of parents, this is just me. If I was proud of parents, I would feel so devastated. Devastated to the point where as though 
I I hold up. I would feel devastated to the point where as though I I would feel like I felt my child. But I don't think and this is just me. This is I'm not saying no information. I'm not putting out no information. This is just me. I don't think Prada appearance was really in his life. Only because when I read the article, it said that his grandmother was the one that spoke up about the situation when he was 11 years old. So it only it, it, it leads to me to think that only his grandmother was in his life. Um, I, I don't think that. Well, if maybe mom and dad was in his life, they wasn't in his life as much as grandma was. So I don't know. Uh, I believe he's still on the run. Yes. I don't think that he got caught. Um, as of right now, I believe he's still on the run. I don't we didn't get any updates that he's, you know, locked up or anything like that. This is a video of him running and driving. Definitely is. And um, you can you can add some of the people up if they have questions too. Cause look, even even um, he made this video two days ago. He was like, I don't know what exactly he was doing, but he made this video two days ago, and this is the same exact outfit that he made. I mean, th that he had on when he made that video. So. I, I don't this is honestly crazy this is this is actually really crazy I won't lie this is actually really really crazy I, I I hope I really hope and I've seen a lot of people and this is one thing I don't like a lot of people got upset because I said that if Gypsy Rose came. Uh, if, what's her name? Gypsy Rose. Is that her name? Gypsy. If Gypsy came home, if everybody is, you know, vouching for the Mendez brothers to come home and things like that, even though he just did what he did. He had a reason on doing it. Now, that's now. Now, this is my thing. I, I see a lot of people say, well, you can't compare those. You can't do that. You can't do 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 do. You technically really can. If this guy was touching on his boy, that's really, really scary. They innocent. I, who's innocent? I think Prada, I don't, I think Prada is innocent to an extent. I don't think that he's, um, like full blown innocent. I won't think that, but I do feel like he's innocent to an extent. And I honestly do feel as though like the system failed him. The system did not do anything about it. They let this man come home from like bond. I'm just confused. Like it was just like his story was heard. It was an opportunity for him to come home. If he pay, he paid to come home and he stayed home. Like, I, I think the system failed him. Honestly, as a child, the system failed him. So I, I don't think that this is a situation. And this is just me. As us all being the same skin tone, as us being all underneath the same app, as us being in the same era, I do feel like I do feel like it should still be justice for Prada. Even though he cursed me out and he was talking mad shit, he was still a child. No child deserved to go through what he went through. So... You know, I, I do feel like it should be justice for Prada. I do. I do feel like it should be justice for Prada. Um, and I don't think that nobody should look at this man as crazy. I don't I don't think so. Now. I don't know how this court house will play this case, but this is all I'm going to say. If they allow. This boy to get in his courtroom. Right. And try to look at him as if he wasn't going through anything and that he just wanted to do what he did just for no reason. I'm going to be irritated. I have watched. So many Caucasian men. 
go to sh schools and shoot up innocent kids for no reason at all. And they place these individuals as people that were going through something mentally. No, that's sick. So I just want to know and I just hope that when he get to court, that they have the same motherfucking, you know, energy for him. I don't think that honestly they should look at it. Oh, a black man wanted his revenge or a black man felt like he needed to do this to prove. No, 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 no. That's that's just me. I don't. I, that's just me. And I know that they're going to try to do that to that boy if he goes to jail. I know I know that they're going to try to do that to him. I know they are. I know they are. I just really, really hope that a lot of people can like speak up and farther much more. I just feel like a lot of people can speak up, especially his mutuals on social media. Um, I feel like, you know, we all have the platform. A lot of us could definitely speak up in a sense, whereas though, you know, there's proof that he was going through something mentally. Like there's actual proof. There's evidence that he left behind. His boy cut his hair off. He's going through episodes. Nobody really understood on what he was going through. It was talked about all over Instagram, Twitter, everything. Like, let me see. Messy Maj talks about everyone else, but doesn't ever talk about what he's going through. Let me show you why I don't talk about what I go through. Because I block bitches out like you. Um, I hate bitches like that. So fucking weird. Um, you don't need to talk about what I go through. Because I go through it when I'm on live. Everybody knows what the fuck I go through. You just didn't. You missed that episode. What they're saying? She ate, though, the fuck. Let me show you why I eat. Bitch, bye. Get blocked. Tell, tell Milwaukee I said, hey. Bitch, I block people. I'm not arguing with no fan ass over no comments. Bitch, you watching me right now at, at 220. I'm not arguing with you, bitch. I'm up on your motherfucking screen. You listening to me, hoe. No, so he hasn't got he hasn't got put into custody yet. No, that's he haven't got put into custody. They'll definitely they'll definitely look at his. So this is the thing. I don't know. Thank you for the cowboy hat. I don't know if somebody was clout chasing or just lying, but I had seen that. Um, basically, somebody made a story post and Prada had liked it. Prada liked the story post, so I don't know if Prada is actually around active, but uh, that's just what I seen when I was um up yesterday. Shit, goddamn it! But you want to know something though? Him being on the run will make things 10 times worse rather than him just turning himself in. I feel like, and let me tell you why I feel like that. Because if they go to the courtroom and they say that it was an accident, it was a fight that led into an actual murder. You know, they're going to they're going to have their questions like, OK, well, why didn't you just turn yourself in or why didn't you just do that? Or why didn't you just like him? Being on the run is only going to dig himself 10 times deeper to fighting a way more harder case than what it, you know, actually should be. That's just me. Hold up. I can't even see because of the reflection. Fuck. Yeah, he definitely needs to turn himself in. I, I, that's just me. If 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 some like I, I would never say if something like that happened because it won't. But um, you know, if I was in his predicament and if I was in his shoes, which I am not, 
I would turn myself in. I would do that. That's that's just me. And the only reason why I would turn myself in is because I wouldn't want matters to get worse. They'll look at me like, oh, well, now this guy can put other people in, you know, like. Somebody said, look at his Twitter. Y'all, but yesterday when we was on live, we was finding all this shit out. Like, we remember, y'all, we was finding all this shit out yesterday. The video when he reposted. Um, the fucking, the, 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 like, we was finding out everything on live yesterday. Like, this shit is crazy. Let me see. I'm about to look it up on Twitter. I don't even know his Twitter. I don't I don't know his Twitter. Let me look at the New Orleans uh Fox News. Yeah, so it don't look like any updates was No, why are you saying now, Maj? This is actually some crazy ass shit. Oh, Mr. Potter 456. So I don't really see anything other than he posted me and my twin because we always got to get through the bottom of it. So he reposted on his Twitter, me and my twin, because we always got to get to the bottom of it. Could have been someone else that helped him. He retweeted that yesterday. Could be. No, no, we looked at his TikTok repost. Shit, we was the ones that told y'all to look at his TikTok repost yesterday. So on one of his tick on one of his TikTok pages, he has a repost of saying that creeps uh girls protect each other from creeps. And basically, it's like a video of, like, this girl doing this, what's the right word? Slicing up and um, all the, like, swords and crossbows and shit like that. I don't fucking know. But basically, it, it, it gave off that he did it to, to, to protect other people. And not only other people, but to pro protect himself like that's that's what it gives i don't know this is honestly scary yeah i seen a video of him running from a car crash y'all tr trust me we get this stuff faster than what y'all think y'all have to go and follow the messy mod show we everything that y'all telling me we get it way probably before y'all get it so everything y'all ask me that i see Yes, we seen it. What video? Go on Messy Mod Show 
And then you'll see either Messi Maj with an extra J or Messi Maj show on Instagram. You'll see everything revolving to his situation. If not, you can go to my, um, wait, did I see what? Who the fuck is Henry? Who's Henry? Who's who is that? Yeah, so if you if you go to my um TikTok, you'll see that I I reposted the video of his car crash. When he crashed the car. Let me see, hold up. This shit crazy. I ain't even gonna lie. But um, what I was gonna say was um, okay. Well, y'all, I do have to go do something. I didn't know that I had to do it right now. But um, when things do come back to me and I do get more information, I will definitely keep y'all updated. But um, as of right now, I do gotta go handle something. I didn't know that I had to with my car, so um, I'll be back. But make sure y'all all follow me and make sure that y'all follow the Messy Mod Show and Messy Mod with an extra J. Y'all can keep update with there if I'm not on live. <laughs>